Today in the boot guy, we are looking at a really nice all-American made boot by Gates. The Free. So there are two high points about the Freedom that really stand out for me. But before I get to them, I just wanna run down all the basic materials and stuff for you guys, and then we'll get to the parts of the boot that I truly, truly do like. So let's start with this mini lug sole by Vibram. It's Vibram rubber, so it's really sticky. Now you gotta remember, this is a motorsports boot. It's not a work boot could double as a work boot if you got stuck riding your bike to work and you had to go dig a hole. You wouldn't kill your foot digging in this thing all day long. You just probably kill the boot and it's a pretty damn nice boot to ruin kicking a shovel. So it's a motorsports boot. So you get this extra piece of leather across the front, which is the toe shift leather reinforcement, which is a really nice touch. It, it adds a really nice look to what would basically be a really low key boot. Now the materials, leather, nylon, a little bit of nylon at the collar. Everything is water resistant. Leathers like this and nylon like this can all be treated with chemicals in order to make them almost 100% waterproof. Out of the box, they're treated, but they're only water resistant. Now this Vibram sole is held down with a full leather welt, and that welt stitch is in red. Now all the little symbols on this boot have some sort of meaning. And if you wanna know what it's all about, swingbytheboutguy.com, I'll have all that broken down there in a blog post. But let's get back to the boot. Now inside the boot, you're gonna find what's called a Drylex liner. So when you mix the Drylex, with the leather and the nylon, it's gonna make for a little bit more of a comfortable boot in hotter weather. Drylex kind of pulls the moisture away from the foot, pushes it to the next surface. Not just air movement around the boot should dry the boot off relatively quickly when we're talking sweat and heat. Now inside the boot, what you're gonna find is a hard footbed, which is a really good thing when you think about you guys out there that have to wear the orthotics. They're the orthotics that come from your doctor. So you pull out the insole that's in there, you put your orthotic in, and you've got a riding boot, an all day riding boot that is gonna be comfortable on your foot. Now, if none of that applies to you, Bates sends along a very basic single density soft insole. Nothing to write home about, but it does make for a nice soft insole. Laces and hardware, it's all nice stuff. And that kind of pushes me to the first point about this boot that I absolutely love. And that first point is it's American made. It's not American built. It's not American design. This is American made. So Bates does this amazing thing inside their box. And I know packaging doesn't mean much to people and they do put a lot of propaganda in most packaging today. But check this out. So basically what Bates did is they have listed where they're sourcing all their materials from in the United States. In my opinion, that's a really important thing because most manufacturers aren't telling us where they're sourcing their laces, their lace hardware, their thread, their soles, their midsoles, their insoles. They're not breaking that down for us on their websites or just in the propaganda about the boot. Bates, on the other hand, tried to source every single piece from the United States to build this beautiful boot that they properly call the Freedom. Now the second thing I love about this boot is that they have incorporated Poron XRD into the side panels. Now what that is, is that's an impact foam. Now that's probably one of the most advanced impact foams on the market. It is some amazing stuff when it comes to direct impact and preserving what is ever wrapped around it. Now, if you want to see a really cool video, when you swing by the bootguy.com to check out all the little details about this boot, I'll have a video from Poron. It's their test video. It is out of this world. Now about the size and the fit and the comfort of it, well, it's very comfortable. It fits well. And the whole design of the boot is for motorsports. So it's a little bit lower profile toe, the extra piece of leather. It's a pointed toe and not a big fat square toe. Now something that might be an issue is time off the bike. Now you spend three, four hours riding to a destination, you get there, you wanna walk around, you wanna hang out. Well, you don't want a heavy pair of boots on your feet, you actually want something comfortable. The Freedom is a very comfortable boot and it's only weighing in at 3.4 pounds a pair. 
So that's the Bates Freedom, proudly made in the USA, sourced from all American parts. If you've worn any of the motorsport boots from Bates, any model, please comment below. Let guys know what you think about having a fully American made boot on your feet while you're riding your bike. If you want to see some detailed photos of the Freedom or if you just want a better breakdown about the flag, the stars, the red stitch, all the little nooks and crannies, all those types of details, please swing by to bootguy.com. There I'll have all that listed. I'll have some beautiful photos. Plus I'll have that video I was talking about from Poron about the XRD impact phone. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And remember, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter all day long. I'm posting photos and talking about crazy boots that I come in contact with. If you're about to pick up a pair of the Bates Freedom and you're just wondering about size and fit, and whether or not it's the right boot for you, remember you can always shoot me over an email and just bounce a few questions off me about the boot. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.